Hi guys, I've been up in my workroom looking at my stock of stuff. On top of one of the cupboards is my box of air engined cars. Um, I do get them out every so often and have a little go with them. To be honest, I just worry about breaking them because they're, they're getting on. Uh, some of them are definitely over 10 years old at the very least. At one time, I seemed to pick them up fairly regularly in the charity shops. I haven't seen any for years. The nearest thing to one of these was I picked up an Air Hogs Ornithopter uh, last year, I think it was that was powered by an air engine. That is a thing of beauty. And I really don't want to fly it because I don't want to break it. I've flown it once. Um, there'll be a link in the video description to it. But these things, yeah, you that's the air reservoir. You pump it full of air and you give it a flick and away they go. Um, so we've got a couple of them. The dragster, air goes in there. I'm just going to give it a flick away it goes. Got a couple of these. These are nice in that they've actually include the pump as part of the car. Obviously, you've got to pump it up a bit more than that. I suppose I could, can not I? Must be 75p, that one. That one I had to take apart. You can see all the glue around it because that one had a problem. Yeah, not going so well, that one. Reservoir. Yeah, got quite a few jasmine. Is one of the ones. I think all these small ones are jasmine or lanard. No, these are lanard. All right, so they're all lanard. Those little ones. Which were the jasmine ones then? Jasmine air jammer. Yeah. And then finally, this one, um, air engine racer, a kit. There's not much in the kit. You'll see inside four wheels, a bit of bent plastic, and then the motor and its reservoir. I did two videos of it. One, just the charity shop video where I bought it. And then the second one was trying to fix it. Because it did leak quite a lot. So I've actually coated it with two-part epoxy around all the leaks. And I will pump it up and give it a little go for you. I won't, I won't actually assemble the car. Uh, it just has two bits of double-sided sticky tape to hold that onto there. Let's just move the camera a bit. All right, that plugs in there. do just to demonstrate
I had always intended to build an aeroplane for it, never got round to it. But I have got videos in the playlist of aeroplanes made with similar engines. So, why am I showing you this? Well, the plan is I'm going to modify one of my rubber band powered cars, just the chassis basically, and then stick that on top of it so we can just run it up and down the kitchen. But that might be a that'll be the next video, I think. This is probably long enough just as an introduction. So thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, leave us a comment so I know I'm doing and somewhere up here there'll be some links to related playlists, thanks again.